Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling a Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at uh, more new things to Zim version Zim02. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And up here in the banners, we've been doing bubblings on some of these. And uh, now we're going to take a look at this one right here, which is the editor. Now this will pop us into a promo for the editor as opposed to the editor itself. And you can read about um, the different parts of the editor. But we can just go there. So I could hit the go. Or indeed, if we go back to the beginning here, the editor can be found in the gold bars along here. In the future, what we'll be doing is we'll be promoting the editor right in here. So once we finish promoting uh, Zim Zim 02, will bring in the demonstrations right up top here so people who are new to Zim coming to the site will be able to pop right in and see those demonstrations right away. But for now, we'll go here via the gold bar. Editor! Hey! There it is. So this is the Zim editor. It looks very much like the Zim Kids editor and indeed the code has been taken from there, but a variety of th things have been added. That's our most advanced editor. As a matter of fact, if we just pop out and take a look at the history of the editors, I'm just quickly going to the updates where we mentioned our editor right here. And here, take a look. There they, there they are, the Zim Zoo. So that was our first one, and it wasn't too bad, but it was a little complex. Those animals were a bit complex for kids, and yet the zoo maybe felt like it was for kids. I'm not sure. We were just having fun with it, I swear. Uh, we made Zap. Zap is a way that we share code. Zim School has an editor in it, and that's still the same editor in a sort of integrated editor into the page itself. And then we made the Zim Kids Slate, and that's where um, Carl and myself did a lot of work on reworking that editor to make it a really good editor for kids. And when it was good for kids, it's good for all of us. So uh, the lab came along. The lab replaced the zoo, but it's the old editor. So now we're replacing the lab basically with this new Zim editor. We started a series called Zim Teaser. <laughs> and like that with the new editor, we brought in the editor, called it Zim Teaser. And we'll continue that series uh, showing s small snips of Zim to, um, to social media, for instance, on Instagram. So uh, that was a whole series and still is a series called Zim Teaser. And then we decided, well, OK, you know, we could still call it Teaser, but let's just call it what it is, an editor. So that's that's where we're at. We're now at, ladies and gentlemen, the Zim editor. <laughs> Ta-da! All right. So we can put in our code over here. So a new circle. Well, actually, let's just do the clear. So I'll, I'll clear the code. And this is how it would start off, cleared. And then we can say new circle dot center dot drag, for instance. And let's make it a bit bigger. We'll make it um, 100 comma blue, like so. And then I hit save, control S. How about purple? Purple. Save, control S, or indeed I hit test. And there we've got our code on the one side. You can make it look narrow like a phone. So this is a, this is a portrait view um, in sort of a tall, narrow phone view. Here's the landscape view and a square view, uh, like so, all kind of working. Or not, square view doesn't really change too much, although the, the size of it actually does. And then there's landscape. So that's what we tend to use the Zim. By default, it's 1024 by 768. There should be landscape. You can also add other libraries in, so and then start coding with them here. Um, you can see a full screen version of this. So I've pressed this, I'll see a big circle there. Full, right, big circle. Yeah. F11. Oh, desktop reveal! Desktop reveal! Um, full screen. You can download it to save it. So that's the old way of saving. And it's still currently at that. And then loading, it's saying custom files coming soon. And same with login. Login with custom files coming soon. So indeed, we're going to have it so that we can log in. A nice simple login. You don't have to. You can use the editor almost completely. 
But if you want to save files that can then be added to the demos, then we can log in, save files, and um, uh, lo re load those files again to edit them, basically. So this is the save and load to be able to edit files. And then over in the demos, here's the demos right here. We currently only have this many demos. Uh, we've been very busy <laughs> launching Zim version Zim02, but we plan on having 100 to 200 videos here by the end of the month. So that's uh, terribly exciting. And the idea is if we want to see some Zim shapes, there they are. And then we can hit the code and we can see the code of those shapes. And if we want, we can copy this over to the right hand side. So now we have all of the code over here. That's one thing about the Zim Kids and um, the Zim Kids editor is that we wanted to be able to show code on this side, but then also have um, the ability to add it on this side. So it's a great learning tool. We're going to have a couple different modes for the editor. If you come in via a learn um, URL, then we won't, we won't be able to select this and copy it over. And that way you actually have to type it over here. But there's also a teach mode where, where you do, uh, you're able to copy and paste it over. Um, and then there, anyway, blah, blah, blah. So um, back in the demos, once we have saved files, they'll show up in here under, under your saved files. Uh, that may not be too helpful to learn though, unless we can share those. So we're working on a way, we've already got it planned, to make share lists. So in other words, uh, you see how we can bookmark this and it's been added to faves now. And if I come down to the, the puzzle here, I can add that one to faves as well. So now both of these two have been added to faves and I can remove them. In a similar way, we can pick and choose from our files and from the Zim demos and add them to a list and then have a URL to share that list. Uh, currently our info um, is, not, is not there yet, uh, but it will be where we can get info on who created these and uh, description and keywords. We'll also have filters here so that we can filter out all the demos based on the keywords. So uh, that's all very exciting. Hopefully coming up in the next month or two for that whole login process. Uh, we can remove the demos from there. Boop. Now that they've removed, you can also collapse these bars. So imagine you'll have a lot of these things, filterable, collapsible, uh, favorable, <laughs> favorable, favorable. And then of course we can view them. So here's the puzzle, the scramble puzzle right, right in here. We can see the code for that like so and move the code over as well or test our current code. So here's a test of our current code. Wow. Isn't that neat? So this is the Zim editor. Let's see anything that we've missed. Uh, for instance, let's try a physics right there. I will clear this one up. Yes. Uh, oh, the guide, I didn't show you the guide. And then in here, new circle dot center dot add physics. And it falls to the ground. <laughs> Incredible. Hmm. Let's try remove the physics cam. Oh, I can't do a cam while I'm also recording because this is uh, screen capturing. But you could just put in new cam dot center and you would see a picture of yourself running right in here. All right. Um, there is as well a guide. So I open up the guide and then here's a guide to using the editor itself. Ah, right. I forgot to show you that. There's some color there. So that toggles between a dark mode and light mode in the editors, uh, a wrap. So that's wrap or not wrap. It's not long enough that we need that. And then this toggles to uh, an above and below editor and a side by side editor, as well as being able to change the, um, the size there. Uh, information about the demos, and that will grow as we bring in custom files and so forth and logins as well and then various references to where we can find more of this code. Many of these examples, teasers, code pens, uh, the zoom bits and so forth can be brought into the demo section right in, right in here. 
This has been What's Bubbling. I am Dr. Abstract, and you're welcome to come visit us at zimjs.com slash discord, zimjs.com slash slack, and let us know what you think. Um, tell your friends, come on in and try out the editor. I think this will be very valuable going forward. We'll probably pop into many of the articles we've made on, on the Medium, for instance, and adjust those to um, you know mention the editor and point to that. Uh, it's an excellent thing going forward for learning, for teachers to be able to have those share lists. Uh, all the best. Have a great day or night. Cheers.